Hello, today we're talking about the LUL ID Plus 961. This one in particular is a 12 volt version, it does come in a 230 volt version as well. Uh, we're going to go through a few little bits and pieces to get them set up in a very simple manner. We're going to make sure we, we tackle the question is how to put into manual defrost and how to change the probe from NTC to PTC or vice versa. Now, the first rule of anything is obviously understand the controller to make sure it's going to be the right application. Read the instructions to make sure you understand how to do it, okay? So, first things first is setting up the actual set point. So, you press the set button once, and then we come down to the set point itself after pressing the set, point again, set button again. So now, we can change the set point to whichever we want by individually pressing the button or pressing and holding to be faster. For this scenario, we're going to set it down to 20 degrees, press set, we're all done. Now, you notice the cooling light has come on because we've set it lower than the temperature is in the room right now. So, to go through a few bits and pieces to make sure we hit, hit the right um, parameters like differential, we're going to enter the actual um, installer parameters. This is password protected. So, once we come here, press the up button until we get to PA2. Press the set button. LUL standard passwords are always 15. Anything different means it could be a special particular for that cabinet or for that cold room. 15, press set. Now with all LULs, they are subcategorized into folders. You have the compressor folder, which is by CP. You have the defrost folder, which is DEF. You also have the alarm folder, which is obviously AL. LIT which is actually the lights folder, PRE for pressure switch, ADD is for communication, DIS is for display, HCP is for the HACCP, and the CNF is for the configuration. PF FPR sorry, is for the copy card, FNC is for functions. The only ones we're really going to talk about today are going to be a few of them. We're going to start with CP. Now, this is going to be talking about the compressor. So, we press set to enter. We come to the first one, which is DIF. Now, this is going to be our history or our differential. So, by pressing set, we're at a differential of three degrees. We can increase it or decrease it either way by pushing the up and down buttons. So, for this one, we're going to set it at three. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be the HSE, which is the higher set point maximum. So this basically means for every controller, there's always a higher set point that we can set it to and a lower set point we can set it to. For this one, it's 140, it's the maximum. We can reduce it if you feel, or we can raise it if you want to. But in this instance, we're not going to. Next one, again, LSE, lower set point, set it again, is minus 55. Basically, that means that this, set, this controller can only be set to a set point between these two temperatures, plus 140 and minus 55 degrees. Next one we're going to talk about is HC. This basically means the cooling mode, i.e. is going to be heating or cooling. Simply press a set button and now we can choose whether it's going to be heating or cooling. This will mean that the differential that's been set is going to be either plus or minus the set point that we've just set so in this instance, we're going to keep it at cooling, and there we go. So now, that's all the ones we're going to really talk about in this one. So to come out one folder, press the on-off button once, we come back to the folders. We're going to go into defrost folder. This one is quite important. This is the interval between two defrosts. Six. Six hours. Every six hours, we'll go into defrost regardless. Quite happy with that. Next one we're going to talk about is DET. Now this is defrost timeout. This is the maximum duration of defrost allowable. 30 minutes. Quite happy with that. You can again reduce it to 25 if you really want to, or you can increase it depending on your application. Next one is DPO. Now this one is actually quite important. Some people like it, some people don't. Basically what this means is, will it automatically go into defrost when the controller is first started up? And it is literally N for no, Y for yes. 
does depend on what you prefer and you can choose either or. So now we're going to come out of here, defrost folder again, we're going to go down to display. Now then, what I'm going to talk about is DDL. Okay. Now this one here is going to be talking about what is going to be labelled on the controller when the defrost is on. Now then, we can either have zero, which is basically to show the recorded probe one. Number one, which is going to be you're going to lock what the probe one was reading right before defrost, and it'll always show that throughout the entire defrost. Or number two, when defrost starts, it will show DEF regardless of the temperature behind what's going through. So for this one, I'm going to keep it on number two to show DEF. Another one, which I like to point out, this one here. Press set. Now this one is talking about the decimal point. Is the decimal point going to be needed or not? So you can either have whole numbers or you could have decimal points, 30.0, 30.1, 30.2, etc. So in this one I'm going to keep the decimal point there. I'm going to come back out. And the next one we're going to go to is the CNF. CNF. This is the configuration folder. This one's quite important to actually get your head around. First one we come to is H00. And this one tells us how to select the probe. So by pressing set, it'll give us a choice of either one, two, or zero. You need to know what probe you do have. In this instance, we have an NTC. A zero means PTC. One equals NTC, and a two is a PT1000. So we have an NTC, we set it to one. Next one we're going to be talking about, H31. Now this is the configuration of the up key. So when it's in, into normal operation mode, you can press the up key to make it do whatever function we choose. So we can either have it at zero, which is disabled, one for defrost, two, we completely disable and never use the up button, three, we can set the economy, four for standby, five, we can reset all alarms, six, we can disable all alarms, and seven is for deep cooling function. For this one, we're going to put it to two, sorry, one, because we want to make sure whenever we press the up button, we want to set a manual defrost. Okay, the next one, which is quite important, H43. Now this is for the second probe. Have you got an evaporator probe? Have you not? You need to know this so that you can come in and quite simply say, is the probe there? Yes or no? In this instance, we don't have an evaporator probe, so we're quite happy to leave it as is. So, there we go. So now, I'm done all setting it up. I can either leave it and it will come out of the folder automatically, or you can press the on off button to bring it back one step. Again, if you leave it for a few seconds, it will come out again, back to normal screen, but if you don't want to wait, again, press the on off button, and there we have it. So we're, con we're now cooling because we are set a temp point, I think it was 20 degrees, we're at 23 degrees, so that's exactly what I want to see. We can also set the up button to show a manual defrost. We'll do that. Press and hold. And we go into defrost, and as per what we wanted, it shows DEF. So now into manual defrost. The manual defrost will go through for about 30 minutes, like we said it would. And then after that, it'll come back out, and then you're ready to go. Hope this has been enjoyable. Thank you very much.